So this is it guys, this is the all new updated AR750S Slate Travel Router from GLI Net. Now I've been using travel routers for quite some time and this is the one that I've been using and it's served me very well, I have no problems with this whatsoever, but I thought it's about time to upgrade, about time to try something new, something that's a little bit faster, something that's a little bit more future proof, I'll explain that in a second. But why you might want to use one of these travel routers, there's actually a lot of reasons guys. If you use free public Wi-Fi, you just don't know who's watching your data who's watching what you're sending and receiving. If you go to Airbnbs, you might want to protect yourself as well. If you're at the airport, if you're going to a relative's house who just has spotty Wi-Fi, this can act as a repeater, and this can sort of broadcast the signal a little bit further, and that's actually what happened to me. I'm at a relative's house, and they're not really up on their Wi-Fi, so they had a lot of dead spots. Thankfully, I just pulled out this router, plugged it in, set it to repeat mode, and I was good to go. I was able to have a full connection in the office, in the room that I was in, at my relative's house, so that was definitely a plus. Another reason why you might want one of these travel routers is some hotels are pretty stingy with the Wi-Fi. They only let you use wireless, and if you want an Ethernet connection, they charge you, or vice versa, or you can say, I'm not going to pay for that, and you can just use this plug in the ethernet cable and then broadcast your own Wi-Fi signal or vice versa, take that Wi-Fi signal and actually use it as a bridge. So that's an awesome way to use this as well. But there's tons and tons and tons of ways you can use this. Oh, and another way you might want to use this, say you are in that hotel and they're really doing that API isolation so you can have your clients talk to each other. So you have your Chromecast, you have your Fire TV and it's just not letting you connect to the TV. They want you to pay for their movie services. Well, just say no to that. Plug this one in, create your own network, and you'll be able to cast to your Chromecast on the hotel network without any problem. I've done that, guys. It works absolutely flawlessly. But let me know in the comments down below what you use these travel routers for. I mean, the possibilities are really endless. And I'm going to stop there because there are so many possibilities. I want to know what you guys use. Now, speaking of what you use, I use this with TorGuard. And I've been super, super happy with TorGuard. You can save 50% off TorGuard right now using code JabberTech. And that means that you're going to have a VPN service for basically a couple dollars a month. And that's something super cool. And I also added their streaming service, their streaming IP, which is a dedicated IP address, which means that when I'm on the go, when I'm using a VPN, I can still stream Netflix, I can still stream Amazon Prime, I can watch any streaming service that normally would be restricted if they notice you're on a VPN. Well, not with that streaming IP. No issues watching Netflix, no issues watching Hulu, no issues watching anything. Thanks to your dedicated IP from TorGuard. Again, use code JabberTech for 50% off. But whether or not you're using TorGuard or any other service, you are well protected with this. And what I like about this router is it also has that new WireGuard protocol. And for those of you that don't know, it's basically a new protocol for VPN, which offers faster connections. Now, it really has some security issues. I'm not going to get into that. But for most of us who just want to protect our data from peeping eyes, from peeping toms, the WireGuard protocol is going to be perfect. None of us here are doing top secret things. Well, I hope we're not. If you are, I really don't want to know. But for those of you that just are the average person and you just want to protect yourself, WireGuard is going to be absolutely perfect. And again, TorGuard does offer that service. There aren't that many VPN providers right now offering WireGuard protocols, but TorGuard has it and it is included free with your subscription. So another reason why you might want to sign up. But enough talk about what you can do with this router, just taking a look at the overall physical aspects. You do have a micro SD card slot that's built in here, so you can transfer files, you can download directly to it, you can do whatever you need to. You also have a micro USB for charging, and what I like about the micro USB guys is that you can actually use a power bank and you can charge this up using the power bank so you don't have to go searching for an AC plug when you want to use this at that coffee shop, at the hotel, at the airport, just connect your battery bank and you're good to go. You also have a multi-function USB port here. Now this can be for your 4G modems, just plug it in and there are some services that are supported with that, but you can also use that as a secondary drive plug in your pen drive and transfer files to and from. And this one is hot swappable, whereas the micro SD card slot is not. You'll have to reboot the router every time you change this, but I usually just leave it in, no issues with that. You have three gigabit ethernet ports here, and then you also have a switch on the side here, which is your mode, and you can actually enable this to automatically turn on your VPN using OpenVPN, or you can have it switch on using the WireGuard protocol, so it's easy enough as flipping this 
toggle to turn it on or turn it off. And then of course you have your physical power button on and off. These two antennas go in like that. So now I'm gonna show you what the setup process is like and we're gonna go over that. But so far I've been really, really happy with this. I've been using it for quite some time, have no issues with it. The only thing I noticed is it does get a little bit warm when I'm doing quite a bit connected to it when compared to the older model. But again, this is doing a lot more than the other one does. So let's get into the configuration and set this up together. This is what the UI looks like guys and it's a very pleasing, very user friendly interface. Right at the top here is where you see what exactly is going on. You can see how you're connected. So right now I'm using this as a repeater mode. So I'm connected to a Wi-Fi network. I do not have VPN protection at the moment. And then you can see the SSIDs for my 2.4 and 5 gigahertz network. You can see how many wireless LAN connections you have as well as how many LAN clients you have. Right down here is where you see all the information about the network that you're connected to. And if you press scan, you can actually see what sort of Wi-Fi networks are around you. So you can decide which one you want to connect to. And it's pretty fast, guys. Now, what I would like, it really doesn't remember all the Wi-Fi hotspots that I've connected to. So I think that could be an improvement in a future software update. Just to remember, say, the last 10. There is enough built-in memory here that it could do that. That's one thing that's a little bit of a pain. Every time you scan for Wi-Fi, you're going to have to remember what that password is. Now, why that might be a big deal if you go to a couple coffee shops when you're on vacation, you don't want to keep asking them what's your Wi-Fi password, etc., etc. So once you put in the password and you hit join, the router is going to do its thing. And it's pretty fast again, guys. There's really no issues with the speed of this travel router. I also mentioned it has three gigabit ports. You might say, well, what if I use one of those ports to connect to a network? You can do that, so that'll act as your WAN port. But if you want to use all three of those ports for a LAN connection, you can do so right here, guys, and you just press this, use as LAN. So now what I'm just going to do, I'm going to plug in my Ethernet cable just to show you guys that you can do both if you wanted to. Right now, I just plugged in my Ethernet cable, so you can see that I'm connected with two ways right here. I'm connected via cable, and I'm using it in repeater mode, connected to a Wi-Fi network. So that's something that you can tell right off the bat, and I like that. Moving on to the wireless tab, guys, this is where you can change the network of your travel router. So you can rename it if you wanted to, and you can also adjust the output power. So if you are connected to a battery bank and you wanted to save a little bit of juice, you can just lower the power right here. So that's something to note. The next tab that we have, guys, I'm gonna go to the clients tab, and you have a few options in here. Of course, you see everything that's connected. You also see the IP address, etc., etc. You can also block these clients here. I like this fact that you can actually enable real-time speed and statistics if you wanted to. So you can actually see what client is using the most speed, and you can actually set a quality of service if you wanted to. So say you're at the airport or you're in a group setting, and you have a lot of people connected to your travel router, you can say sure, you can connect to it, and then you can just limit them to make sure that they can just check their email and surf the web, and that you'll have the most speed available for yourself for watching Netflix or watching whatever IPTV you have. So I think this is pretty cool. I know I've been at the airport a couple times and someone said, hey, who's using Jabber's hotspot? Who is that? Can I just connect really quickly? I gotta check some emails. And you don't really wanna say no. You don't wanna be that guy. So you can say sure, connect and then just make sure that they get a one megabit per second connection or even less. And it is what it is. You get what you pay for if you're smooching off Jabber's hotspot. The next tab is the upgrade and I like that it's pretty simple. Click auto upgrade, it'll let you know if you have one and it'll just automatically install it. So again, for 70 bucks, they're really giving you a lot of features in a small package. So it is really worth the price in my opinion. Next tab you have is your firewall. So if you want to do some forwarding for some ports, if you want to set a DMZ host, you can do that right here. Again, full-fledged router in a small package. Now this is where the fun begins, guys. You have your VPN clients here. So if you use OpenVPN or WireGuard, and I'm just going to do a quick speed test of both of these to show you. And again, TorGuard, 50% off. You're going to get a great VPN service that supports both of these protocols for only a couple dollars a month, and I think that's super, super cool. Next, go to management, and this is where you can add your new configurations, and this will be provided to you from your VPN service, guys. A lot of you have asked me how to connect to, say, another VPN. I really don't know, guys. I don't have that service. You can find out on their fax page or just emailing support. 
But all you have to do is click add new configuration. Once you find the config file, drag it here or just select it. And it's really just that simple guys. So you could have a couple of them set up if you wanted to. And then the next tab we have here is to set up your own VPN server. So for some reason, if you wanted to do that, I don't know why you'd want to do that with the travel router, but it's an option here. Next, WireGuard, it's really the same thing. If you go to management, add a new profile, and all you have to do is paste your settings. And then you can have a couple profiles here, which I think is pretty cool. And again, set up your own server if you want to. So let me just do a base test and we can see what we're actually working with without a VPN connection. All right guys, so this is our base. We've got 51 down and 11 up. So let's go back in here and let's connect to a VPN with TorGuard. Now again, they say the maximum that you would ever get is 17 megabits a second. That's just what the chip can do. So now I am connected with the open VPN connection. So let's just go here and do a speed test. Check your speed and let's see what happens. Get started. So we got 12 down and it's looking like it'll probably be, I'd say it's probably gonna jump a little bit to like nine upload. Let's just take a look. So this is what we got. We got about 12 and nine. Now I've done a few other speed tests before. I'm not gonna keep doing them on this video, but it's been about the same. And with the maximum of 17, that's actually pretty good. Next, let's disconnect this and then check out what WireGuard is all about. And they're saying WireGuard, they're gonna get about 68 using this router. So let me just connect. If we get somewhere between, I'm gonna say we're probably gonna get about 40. I'd be really happy with that. So let's go ahead and redo the speed test. And while we're waiting for that to load, you can actually see that we do have VPN here. So that little icon changed. Let's run this speed test again. So right away guys, just look at this speed difference. And this is a reason alone why you wanna to upgrade to this new Slate router from GLINet. Just look at these speeds. And again, I've done multiple speed tests before and they're about the same. So WireGuard is definitely the future. Hopefully they do fix those little security holes. But again, for most of us, we're not in the CIA or FBI. I think we'll be just fine. All right guys, we're almost at the end, I promise you. Next, you wanna to go to file sharing and this is where you can share that pen drive or that micro SD card. Share via LAN, WAN, and make it writable or not. That's really cool. You have some plugins here, so you can kind of add to this router if you wanted to. And then finally, more settings. Really, the only thing you might want to do is use Mac Clone. So for those of you that might need to use a portal to connect to Wi-Fi, this should do a good job. You should be able to connect to it. But if for some reason you can't, all you have to do is connect with another device, clone that Mac address for your router, for this travel router, right over here and you'll be able to connect to that portal without any issues. You have a custom DNS server and this does have built-in DNS from Cloudflare. So that's really, that's gonna be really fast. You can override the DNS settings for all clients using your router if you wanted to, or you can also set a manual one. Say you're using AdGuard's AdBlock DNS servers, you can add that in here. Again, guys, the theme of this is full-fledged router in a tiny package. And then finally, what you really wanna know is you have this switch button, and that's that button on the side of the router. So you can have it toggle either WireGuard or OpenVPN quickly, so you don't really have to go into these settings if you don't want to. You can just toggle it on or off once you're connected, so it makes it super, super simple. Network mode is how you will actually use the router. Whether you're using it as a router, an access point, an extender, or a bridge, you can select what the function is here, so multi-purpose. And then basically in advanced, you really don't wanna do that, so I don't do that. And if you have a problem with the firmware, revert and you're good to go. I know this has been a long video, guys, and I appreciate it if you made it this far. If you have made it this far, you really wanted to know what this router could do and how to set it up but I can definitely recommend it. It's something that I've been using on a regular basis since I've bought it. And I've also been using their other one quite frequently. So for me, this is a must have. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. If you have any questions about using this or anything you've seen in this video, just let me know and I'll try and answer, do my best. Thumbs up, subscribe, catch you guys next time.